And the train device. We all know what they are, right? Did you know that you can listen to them? Yeah, listen to them. They don't talk. They chirp. <laughs> so when you're out route fanning, you're not hearing nothing on the rate on the scanner because you're in an area where maybe they're not calling out trains crossings or mile markers or they're not just not communicating on the radio. You can hear chirps from the end of train device. And <laughs> this lets you know that something's close by. So usually these uh these signals they'll be between two and five miles out. It's low wattage, so you're not gonna pick them out pick them up any further. And what happens is the train, the engine and the end of train device are constantly sending information back and forth. And most of it is brake pressure information. And the chirps, you hear the chirps. So if you're out rail fanning, I'll put a, um, the frequencies below. There's only two, I believe, and then Norfolk Southern has their own, I believe, and I'll put that too. And I'll put some other information down in the description below so that you can listen to the end of train device too and hear if a train's coming. It's a great way to notify you when a train's coming and you're not sitting by the tracks, eyeballs on tracks, waiting for it. You hear the chirps and you know you got some time because the train's coming. <laughs> See you on the next, I don't know, rail fanning tip, I guess we could call this. Be well.